<laughs> so I guess now's the time for me to talk and pay tribute to my little angel, Veronica. When I was 16 years old, I became unexpectedly pregnant. At first, I was terrified and even debated having her adopted. But during my pregnancy, something changed. I became so attached. I was excited. I was going to be the best mum ever. Me and my partner at the time named our baby girl Veronica. We couldn't wait to meet her. I went full term and was 10 days overdue, overdue, so they had to induce me. I was in labour for a long time. I was sick, tired and in a huge amount of pain. Veronica's heartbeat was checked regularly and everything was fine. Then once I was dilated, they checked for a heartbeat again and they couldn't find it. This went on for about 20 minutes, checking with different machines because they wasn't sure whether or not the equipment was broken. Eventually, the doctor was called and I was rushed to the emergency room where I had to push and forceps were used to get her out. The umbilical cord had been wrapped around her throat for the whole 20 minutes. She lived for five days, but we had to agree to the life machine being turned off. I got to hold her then for the first time until her heartbeat eventually stopped. She stayed alive for hours. I never wanted to let her go. My baby awareness week is every year, the 22nd to the 27th of February. My five days of her being alive. She was never able to cry, to smile, but I loved her and I desperately wanted her. I still love her. She is always in my thoughts all these years afterwards even if I don't talk about her all the time. I don't not talk about her because I'm embarrassed. I'm not. It's because it hurts so much to do so. After Veronica was taken from me, my coping mechanism was to chuck myself into college and work. I couldn't talk about it. My heart was broken. I don't have children now because I've lived with the fear of the same thing happening and I just couldn't do it twice. But I have to say, as a young woman going through this, I felt like most people looked at me as if I should be grateful. And I wasn't, and I'm not. Every organisation I dealt with felt like they gave me that same message. Every time I wanted to do a campaign to highlight the problems to le that led to her life being taken away so unfairly, I was treated like a kid, not like a grieving mum. I was her mum. I also hoped one day I would be her best friend. If she was alive today, she'd be 23 years old. The pain does get easier to deal with over time, but it never, ever goes away. I really welcome this debate today. I genuinely pay tribute to the members for bringing it forward. And I hope one day nobody else has to endure this pain. And I want my experience to be heard by young women in my constituency and across the country who have or may go through this in the future. And just to say, you're not alone. Yeah. Yeah.